The way you threw yourself after her. <laughs> Look at you go! Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the new Joker movie. We've got our first official looks at the Joker. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC videos later this year. So I'm super anticipating this Joker movie. This is my number one film from DC that I'm actually looking forward to because I love Joaquin Phoenix. He is a fabulous actor. Definitely a humongous score for DC. This is going to be a solo movie. This this is going to be an origin story, it's going to be really gritty, a really nicely character driven tale and I have full confidence in Todd Phillips, although this is something new for the director, it has Joaquin Phoenix, everything behind it sounds great, you got Robert De Niro in, you got so many amazing people and I just am so excited. But today we're going to be breaking down our first look at Arthur Fleck aka the Joker but before he's the Joker. As I said this is going to be an origin of sorts, not going to be something we've seen before, it's going to be their own take on it and this is not part of the DC Universe, it's an Elseworld story, they do that all the time in the animated films and also in the comics. So it's just its own single story which I find very exciting. So Todd Phillips the director actually released a first look at Joaquin Phoenix as Arthur. So he's just sort of like a late 40s, early 50s kind of scruffy man. Seems to be looking for work, you know, kind of a bit ruggedy looking and it seems like maybe his way of life hasn't worked out from what he's been doing in the past and I think with his origin story being in this film, we're gonna slowly progress and see what drives him to insanity, what actually changes him. And so today they were actually filming for the Joker so they've officially started which is really exciting to me we've seen some amazing set photos from Just Jared and various other sources. I'm going to show you the Just Jared ones because they're really good. You get to see him as he comes out of a talent booking agency called Ha Ha's, which is very funny because obviously he's the Joker in the future and his dress is really casual yet kind of smart at the same time. It's a mix. It's a bit of a clash of two worlds and he is with another guy supposedly who works at the talent booking agency and throughout the entire Scene, which you guys can see on various new sites online there's actually a video of this of them actually doing this interaction essentially he's just playing around with this guy who looks like a clown obviously vice versa there's going to be a big role reversal and this guy obviously is just like a little part of the film but essentially he's just playing around with him having fun as you can see from some of these photos he really does have a wicked looking smile so I'm super anticipating this I think everything that I'm seeing looks great everything that I'm hearing sounds fabulous and I'm just so excited and the mise-en-scene or the scenery that you see within these photos is fabulous it's just sort of like a ruggedy looking Gotham City because this is going to be set in Gotham, they're filming in New York, that's what Gotham is based off of. And in the background you can see there is in fact some sort of amusement thing that kids can go on which is obviously very Joker reminiscent. And in the background it says Amusement Mile and so Amusement Mile in the comics was actually built in the early 20th century during Gotham when it actually first started becoming an industrial place that we know it is in present day Batman comics and things like that. So the place place itself fell into bankruptcy and actually closed down in the comics and then it turned into an amusement park that's actually on the coastline of Gotham City and it's in the comics it's under the ownership of the Joker so that is a massive massive easter egg to the Joker and what he's going to become so potentially we could see him by the end of the film if he's turned into the Joker we could see him taking over that place and that is where he obviously causes his mayhem from. That is really exciting. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Are you guys hyped for this film? Because I'm super anticipating it. I think it's going to be a really great film. And I think this could be the best film since The Dark Knight. It's lining up to be just an amazing film. Not just a comic book film, but a great character study. So anyway guys, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. It doesn't make it strong. 